What's going on everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Intro to Web Development Episode 8. In this episode, we are going to do a little practice exercise. On the screen right now, you see an image of a website that I just created. Now your goal for today is to try and program in HTML this website to look almost exactly like it, or as close as possible. And I'm going to be programming this website right alongside you guys, and I'm going to walk you guys through the process I take to identify HTML components and to program them. So really what we're doing today is we're putting everything that we've learned in the past tutorials into one one website to see how it all can work together. Now you can get the image of this website, the one that's on the screen right now, off of my own website. You can find my website link down below in the description. That way you can look at the image of the website on your own. So let's get started programming this website. Before we can actually go about copying all of this stuff, we need to create the base code that this website is going to need to have anyways. So that includes the doc type tag at the top, doc type HTML, and then of course our HTML tags. I'm just going to name mine Util Site. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. And then if you want to, you can add a few meta tags, but I'm not going to bother to do that. Next, we're definitely going to need a body section of our website because that's what the actual website is. So hopefully you had no problem doing this. This is just the base code that every website is going to need anyways. Let's take a look at the image. You can see that there's a pretty big title that says Util Site. That clearly looks like a title because it's the biggest text on the page. So if we think back, we know that titles are usually represented by h tags, so h1 through h6. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that that's an h1 tag. So I'm going to open up and close an h1 tag, and in between them I'm going to write util site, like so. So let's go ahead, save that open up your web browser and refresh your page, we get util site in. That looks pretty close to it. It's pretty big and it it's dark. So that's out of the way. Now, we also have a smaller little title that says yeah below it. I don't know why that's there, but we have to identify it and try and figure out how what it is. I can tell by looking at it that that text right there is a bit bigger than all the rest of the text and it is bold, so it could be an h tag. And why don't we just try that? We're going to take an h tag, maybe h2 and close that. So h2 is a little bit smaller than h1, and we're just going to type in yeah. Go ahead and save that, go into the web browser, reload it, and hmm, yeah that might work. You simply try a bunch of different things and see which one looks similar. So we got that done. Next we have a huge horizontal line across the screen. Well, I know that that is a horizontal rule, an hr tag. Go ahead, refresh your site, and we get a horizontal line. Now I refresh my site after every single piece of code I write for the most part because I want to make sure that I get that correct. Alright, now let's get on to the more tougher stuff. We have this text should be a paragraph. So right there I know that the text here should be in a paragraph tag. So I'm going to create and close a paragraph tag. And what does it say? This text should be a paragraph. This is a mistake like so. All right. So if we refresh this, we should get all that text in a paragraph, which it is. And now we have to apply the actual text formatting to it. And then we'll look down the road, and here we have word for word. Well, we know that everything after this point is underlined, so I'm going to open up the underline tag, U, and close it at the end here, like so. And we also know that it's italicized, so right after U, I'm going to open up the italicized tag, and I'm going to close it at the end. And just so you guys can see this stuff, I'm going to enter down another line because it won't fit in my camera. So there we go. Now you should be able to see everything. And I'm going to close I like so. Okay, great. So if we go ahead and reload the page, we should get paragraph in bold, and this is underlined and italicized. And now we have to create a line that goes straight through those. This is a mistake word. So if we think back, and maybe I have to look at a reference sheet or something, that's completely fine, look it up on the internet if you forget, we'll find that the strike through tag, or S, is how you create a line through a bunch of text. So I'm going to open that, close it, reload our site, and we get a line through that text. So, let's stop here. Before we go about trying to get the x to the power of 2 and the y sub 56 or whatever, we have to notice something special. We have brackets here. And we can't have these brackets in our HTML document, because HTML thinks it's a tag. So, we have to take a look back to character entities, and if we look at a, a quick reference sheet or something, we know that the and lt colon or semicolon is the less than symbol. And we have to also replace this greater than symbol with and gt for the greater than symbol. So let's verify that this works. Head on over to your web document, and refresh it, 
and now the brackets are showing up and we shouldn't get any errors from here on out. That should do it. If we re refresh our page here, we can see that it works like so. All right, there we go. So now we should have all the dialogue. Go ahead and refresh it, and I notice that this just doesn't look right. It seems like Java is italicized, so we'll go ahead and we'll use the italicized tags around that, like so. And that should make all that dialogue look nice and pretty. It's a really corny joke, it doesn't even make sense half the time. Anyways, this is really strange. Usually you wouldn't see this on a website, but it's just for practice. If we reload our site, this text should be pre-formatted, and it looks close enough. The formatted should just be back one tab, maybe not as far over, maybe two tabs. Just play around with it until it looks decent. That looks fine to me, it doesn't have to be exact. We need to type indent all of this, dot dot dot. And that should do that. So if we take a look at our website now, we'll see that, hey, look at that. It's indented once, indented twice, indented once again, and then after this block quote tag, we shouldn't be indented anymore. Here we go, finally. This is kind of like the footer of the web page. So we have a horizontal rule because it creates a vertical line, or I'm sorry, a horizontal line. And then it says copyright, and then it has a little copyright symbol. And we just have to look back to character entities, do the ant copy uh, semicolon. That should create the copyright symbol. And then it says your name here. Of course, you can write your actual name there. Go ahead and save that, refresh your document, and hopefully it looks like we have a site that looks pretty close to the site that we were trying to copy. So I'm hoping that you guys all did this on your own and tried it out by yourself. You can experiment with this website, add a bunch of stuff, make it funny. Really, you just want to do this so that you have practice. So hopefully you feel a bit more comfortable with programming in HTML. Let's move on to a little bit more advanced stuff to make our websites a bit more exciting and not so bland. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.